Hey Mosaic, Aaron here. Uh, I wanted to take a minute to talk about uh, the season that we're entering in um, called Advent. So Advent, for those of you who don't know, is the uh, month leading up to, the, the four weeks leading up to Christmas. Um, and each Sunday, um, for the next four Sundays, um, we will be celebrating one aspect of Advent. So Advent is this season of waiting. It's the season of anticipation. It's joining in to the awaiting of the promises of God being fulfilled. And so but prior to Jesus's birth, um, the faithful to God were awaiting the promises. So we're awaiting fulfillment of God's promises. Uh, they've gone hundreds of years um, in relative silence from the, from the prophets. Um, the last thing they heard, the last thing they knew was that someone was coming, that, that God was sending a Messiah, that all things were going to be made right through him in some way, and they were anticipating that. But it was years and years and years, generation after generation, of boring, gray, sometimes seemingly lifeless drab, anticipating the glory that would come, the spring that would come through the Messiah. And so, um, what Advent is, is a season of, of uh, awaiting, a season of anticipation. Uh, we know that Christ, uh, we celebrate that Christ came uh, on December 25th, but the period before that, there's anticipation, and so the church collectively takes some time um, to, to withdraw, takes some time to anticipate, takes some time to reflect on how things are and to anticipate the promises of God being fulfilled. And we, on the other side of the birth and life and death and resurrection of Christ, have all the more reason to hope in God. We've seen him be faithful to his promises in miraculous ways, and he will be faithful and he will return again. But this season is a particular season to reflect on hope, to reflect on joy, to reflect on peace, to reflect on anticipation, and to cultivate those things within us as we anticipate celebrating um, the coming of Christ in his birth, and we, as we also look forward and anticipating the return of Christ. And so it's really this reflective season. So what you'll see from us over the next four Sundays is that there will be candles out, and those candles each will represent something, hope, joy, peace, uh, those words that um, can kind of become cliche, but boy, do we need them, right? Um, and so there will be a candle that we will light each week, and those candles represent those things. And we will be reading from the scriptures about the promises of God uh, as they pertain to Jesus. And then uh, on that fifth, um, fifth gathering, which will be Christmas Eve, the fifth candle is lit, and that is to celebrate to celebrate the faithfulness of God in the coming of Jesus, to celebrate the birth of Christ, and for us to collectively gather around, um, around that idea of celebration. And so to help you with that, we've actually uh, created a Right Now Media playlist of studies. There's stuff for kids in there, there's stuff for women, there's stuff for men, um, there's stuff for basically anyone in any walk of life in there to um, take advantage of this time, to anticipate the coming of Christ in Christmas, but also to look forward and anticipate the faithfulness of God together in the season. Uh, I've also compiled a list of free and relatively inexpensive resources for those of you who want to dig a little deeper if you're looking for devotionals. Again, some of them free, some of them uh, cost, a, cost a little bit of coin, but uh, none of them are outrageous by any means. Um, and there should be something for everyone uh, there as well. And um, those will be linked below. Um, in the comment section, we'll have the Right Now Media um, link below. Uh, so you can sign up for Right Now Media. You go to Mosaic Mansfield and Advent. It's a very top playlist. I put it right there for you. And then, like I said, we'll have a list below of all the content. Um, there's a couple of really solid uh, devotionals that come through for free every year uh, that I follow. Those are recommended. And there's a few books that I've really enjoyed and uh, some new books that have come out as well that I would recommend. Um, so we'll be talking about Advent more uh, this Sunday, but we wanted to put together this video and to get those resources to you uh, a few days in advance here so you can uh, prepare, prepare your family, prepare yourself um, to enter into this new season. 
Uh, and I love talking about this stuff, so if you have any questions about why do we do Advent, what is Advent, how could I participate in Advent more, uh, go ahead and email me at aaron at mosaicmansfield.com, uh, and I would love to set up some time to talk to you about those things. All right. Love you guys.